Hey guys, Nathan15644 here. Uh, I'm going to be showing you how to restore your jailbroken iPod Touch if it's not uh, doing a proper restore in iTunes. Now, sometimes if you restore your, try and restore your jailbroken iPod Touch, iPhone, iPad, anything, uh, an error will come up. So I'm going to show you how to force this. So what you're going to need to do is have iTunes up like I have and plug your Apple device into the computer. Now that iTunes has successfully recognized your Apple device and is plugged in and it's still on, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to hold the home the sleep button and the home button at the same time until it turns off. You don't slide the turn off, okay? And as soon as it turns back on, you're going to let go of that sleep button, but hold down the home button. See? I just let go of that sleep button. Okay. All, see, now it says connecting to iTunes. So now iTunes recognizes it and says, iTunes has discovered an iPod in recovery mode. You must restore the iPod in iTunes. Okay? So, restore. Now everything should be working fine. I'll go over this again. What you need to do is you need to hold the sleep button right here and the home button here at the same time while it's plugged into your computer into iTunes and it's still on. Okay? So what you'll do is you'll hold both of those buttons down at the same time until it turns off on its own. You do not slide to power off. Okay? Number one mistake. And then what you do is when it turns on you let go of that sleep button, but you're still holding on to that, to the home button. And it will show up like this, and the iPod will be in recovery mode. So, pretty soon, this will cut off and go and start restoring. See, there you go. Now my iPod Touch will start restoring, and I'll come back when it's done restoring. Okay guys, right now my iPod just restored and it is rebooting. And this is how you restore your iPod Touch in any Apple device if it is having it a restore problem. It just says connect to iTunes just because every Apple device does that after it's been restored to its factory settings. And just about now it should come up and there we go. It is officially restored to its original firmware. Alright, thank you. Bye.